How close are we to going to Mars? I'm going to recap how SpaceX's Interplanetary Transport System ITS, was supposed to work and how it will be downsized when Elon Musk speaks at this year's International Astronautical Congress. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. Last year, Elon Musk unveiled plans to colonize Mars with the ITS. He announced the plans at the International Astronautical Congress on September 27, 2016. Musk envisioned having a 1 million person colony on Mars in the next 50 to 100 years. And SpaceX's ITS would make it all possible. That sounds hard to imagine and even Musk admits that getting the project off the ground will be hard to do. Mars is very far after all. How far? The distance between Mars and Earth varies depending on where they are at on their orbits. At their closest, they are still 33.9 million miles apart. That's hard to grasp how far that is without an illustration. Long distance runner Jeffrey Mutai recorded the fastest marathon pace ever at 4 minute 41 second per mile pace. Look at him go. Incredible. At that 4 minute 41 second per mile pace, it would take him 301.8 years to return to Mars on that imaginary road. 301.8 years is hard to grasp how much time that is. Let's say Jeffrey put, was put in a time machine, traveled back in time to Independence Day year 1776, and then teleported to Mars, where he started running back to Earth on that imaginary road, he would still be running towards Earth today, and wouldn't get back until 60 years from now, in the year 2077. Okay, okay, so we established that Mars is far. Now let's quickly go over SpaceX's Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS. If the ITS ever gets built, it would be massive. It would be 400 feet tall, 56 feet wide, and weigh 23 million pounds. The ITS would be fitted with Raptor engines, which are currently being developed and are projected to have three times more thrust than the Merlin 1D engines, which are currently used on the Falcon 9 rocket. With 42 of these Raptor engines, the Interplanetary Transport System would be the most powerful rocket ever, by far. The ITS would be able to carry a payload of 23 million pounds to low Earth orbit. Compare that to NASA's epic Saturn V rocket, which was able to carry 310,000 pounds and is still the most powerful rocket ever. The ITS would also be reusable, which would help keep the cost to transport as low as possible. And ultimately, Musk believes that the cost to transport a colonist would go, would go down as low as $200,000 per person. The ITS would have a reusable first stage, the ITS booster, and two types of reusable second stages. First is the interplanetary spaceship, and second is the ITS tanker. The way the ITS would work is, the ITS booster would bring the interplanetary spaceship into orbit and would then return to Earth while the spaceship maintained parking orbit. The ITS booster would return back to the launch site, pick up the ITS tanker, and then send the tanker up to orbit before returning back to Earth. The ITS tanker would then meet up with the interplanetary spaceship and fill up the ship with the fuel needed for the trip to Mars. The ITS tanker would then return to Earth and the spaceship would start its journey to Mars. The ITS first mission was proposed for the year 2022 as an unmanned mission to Mars and the first crewed mission in 2024. Now that seems ambitious, more like science fiction. Not to say that it can't be done, but SpaceX realistically doesn't have the money to make that happen. The ITS would be scaled down from science fiction to reality. On July 22nd, Musk hinted at the downsizing when he tweeted, a 9 meter diameter vehicle fits in our existing factory. The interplanetary transport system was supposed to be 12 meters diameter, so it will be 3 meters smaller. This image is from parabolicarc.com and shows the ITS engine configuration at 42 Raptor engines. The author of the article, Doug Messier, believes that the ITS would lose its outer ring which consists of 21 engines and that should bring its diameter down to 9 meters and should lessen its mass by half. So 9 meters is still a whole lot bigger than the Falcon 9 rocket which is 3.7 meters and it's just a bit smaller than the legendary Saturn V rocket which was 10.1 meters and will retain its title as the biggest and baddest rocket to have ever blast off. 
Musk will speak on September 27th at the 2017 International Astronautical Congress in Australia and provide more details on, on the downsizing of the ITS. I'm hoping we find out when we can expect the vehicle to be developed and produced. Now this is a stretch, but I'm also hoping that Musk announces that SpaceX would, will compete for NASA funding of Mars mission vehicles similar to the Commercial Orbital Transport Services COTS contract. On July 6, Vice President Mike Pence pledged that the United States will put American boots on the ground. A week later, NASA's leadership said that they can't afford to go to Mars anytime soon. Vice President Pence is the head of the National Space Council, which is supposed to meet before summer's end. Summer ends September 22nd, so I hope that the National Space Council will soon announce that they will consider privatizing the, the development of the Mars mission vehicle for NASA, since the COTS contract has worked out so well. Considering the timing of everything, considering the Vice President's pledge and NASA's comments, I think that is possible. So how close are we going to Mars? It's hard to say at this point, but the good news is that we will have a better idea on September 29th. But I want to know what you guys think. When do you guys think the revised SpaceX Mars vehicle will be built? And do you think Musk will announce something unexpected? If so, what? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps our channel grow. And if you're interested in space exploration, artificial intelligence, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am the Oracle, and this is the end of our journey.